Hi everybody, thank you for taking a minute to watch this video. This is Bruce at the Coin Op Store. In this video I'm going to be showing you our ultimate cocktail arcade. So just so you know what the different colors look like, these are the standard cocktail arcades that we sell. That's walnut, black, and that's what cherry would look like. So cherry, black, walnut. This is an 18 inch stool. This was a stool that was damaged in transit, so I just put it together, set it in front of the game for scale. In case you were wondering, it is not short enough to slide under the control panel. On the other side, you can see our chrome round swivel stool. This stool's got an adjustable height, so right now it's at 14 inches. Just like an office chair, if you press this button, it'll raise up to 20 inches. <coughs> Excuse me, when you receive the game, so this game will show up on a pallet. It's going to be covered in shrink wrap, cardboard. There will be some inserts that cover the corners. It will be strapped down to the pallet. During the delivery process, you're going to unwrap and inspect the game to make sure that it is cosmetically perfect, as it should be. After you do that, you're going to see a power cord and two keys. They're going to be zip tied to one of these joysticks. For purposes of the video, I've removed them. So we'll go ahead and take those off and set them aside. On the front of the game, you're going to find a coin door. Using the key, if you open the coin door, inside, it's a little bit hard to see. You see the interior of the cabinet. Now, inside the game, here and here, there are two latches. We call them cookie jar latches. If you need to open the cabinet, reach your arm through the game, up, back toward yourself, and pop those latches. For the purposes of this video, those latches have already been popped. Top of the cabinet is a piece of clear tempered glass. It is not plexiglass. Plexiglass has a tendency to fade and age. It's also very easy to scratch. So this is tempered glass, which is very important. You don't want it to shatter and hurt anybody. These are some very nice clips that hold the glass in place. Each clip has two Phillips screws. If you ever needed to lift this piece of glass off, you can pull these clips off. You can lift the glass top. So underneath this glass, there's a thin veneer vinyl piece that we call an underlay. Some of the underlays that we used to sell had some artwork. We're not going to be doing the artwork anymore. If you wanted to adorn the game, you're more than welcome to buy your own stickers and put them on this underlay. <clears throat> and again, to do that, you would just remove those clips and lift this piece of glass off. So now that we've got the latches popped, let's go ahead and open the top of the cabinet. Inside, you're going to find the monitor. This is a 24-inch LED wide viewing angle screen. Wide viewing angle just means that Typically, if you take a laptop and you're looking at the monitor, if you move to the side of the monitor, you'll notice on some monitors that they kind of wash out. It's called a laptop effect. And so in order to prevent that, you want to make sure that you get a wide viewing angle screen. I'm going to close this top down. Basically, what you're looking at is a TV the same direction that it'd be sitting on your TV stand at home. So this is just a standard TV. If you were typing a Word document, the typing would be displayed this way. Now, in order to play classic vertical games, you're going to play a monitor that's been installed in uh, Portrait. Portrait plays classic up and down games. This machine can do both vertical games on the side of the cabinet with the joystick and the one trackball, and it can play horizontal games. Horizontal games are games that move side to side on the screen. Most machines, like these for example, can only do vertical games. So what's unique about this cabinet is it has the ability to play both vertical and horizontal. So you can play some single player games, or if you wanted to change game boards, you could plug in and play horizontal games. Games where two people play simultaneously. A game like baseball where I pitch, you hit, that kind of thing. I believe there are some game boards out there that can do both vertical and horizontal. You're more than welcome to go on the internet and search around and see if you can find some licensed JAMA game boards. There are websites like eBay and Amazon that sell them. This machine is compatible with any JAMA game board. What's JAMA? JAMA is a programming language. And so a JAMA board, it's kind of like a Nintendo game. This is a JAMA board. If you took a Nintendo game and you took the plastic case off of it, inside you would find this board. I don't know if you remember, but on Nintendo games, sometimes they wouldn't work, so you'd have to blow inside the board on these teeth type things, is what I'm calling these. And so this is what it would look like. Now, on the inside of the game, you're going to find a JAMA harness. JAMA harness has three wires, a space, and then a bunch of other wires. You'll notice that you've got three pins, a space, and a bunch of other wires. So you're going to take, so this harness would be installed like that. On the inside of this, there's some teeth. So basically, you're going to take this, 
and you're going to press it down into that. It's a little hard for me to do because I'm trying to hold the phone. But basically, I'm sorry, I'm going to like this. So you would want to mount this and gently press it into that. Once you plug that in, you want to take the VGA cable. This is the cable for the monitor. And you would plug it in there. Make sure that when you do this, the machine is powered off. You probably won't electrocute yourself, but I don't like the word probably not electrocute myself. So anytime there's a probably, please make sure the game is powered off when you do this. Plug the JAMA harness in, plug in the VGA cable. Now these smaller clips here are for the trackballs. They're kind of like a USB port. And so on the board, if you have a game that requires trackballs, you can plug those in and the trackballs will work. They actually work in addition to the joysticks. If you ever needed to access the controls, let's say for the sake of argument, one of your kids spills soda on the game. All of these parts are easily replaceable. Inside the cabinet, there are two screws here. If you were to pull those screws out, this entire panel will drop down, exposing the interior. There's just four screws that hold this joystick. Same with the trackball. The buttons actually just screw out and screw on, and then there's some little wire clips that connect each of them, which eventually you run back into the game board. Down here, you're looking at speakers. This is a stereo amplifier. When the power is on, this will be blinking red and blue. That is normal. Volume, bass, treble, balance. This is a power supply. And these are more of the game boards. These are red ball joysticks. The red ball joysticks are four direction. They go up, down, left, right. These black ones are eight direction. So they go up, down, left, right, and then you can go in diagonal. Some of the more advanced games you may want to play might require diagonal motion. This monitor is held in place by some screws. Some of the other games that we have, different styles of monitors, they're held in place by some clips. And this is our ultimate cocktail arcade. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to give us a call. I'm going to close the top here so you can get a panned view. We can be reached 888 378-9416-888-378-9416 or you can visit our website coinopstore.com and you'll be able to see the different products that we sell ultimate cocktail we've got the standard cocktail we also have a deluxe cocktail the deluxe is basically just a bigger version of our standard Oh, one last thing. Underneath this, I don't know if I mentioned this. So this is a piece of clear tempered glass. Beneath this, there sits a thin veneer piece of vinyl that is called an underlay. And if you ever wanted to remove that, you could lift that underlay off. Right now, the only underlay color that we have is black. We're probably gonna be coming up with blue, yellow, purple, green. We could probably do any color that you want. In addition, if you wanted us to do any type of custom artwork on the cabinet, like a full wrap or a custom piece of art, if you want your corporate logo, pictures of your dogs, pictures of your kids, things like that, please let us know. We'd be more than happy to get you a quote for that. One last thing on the back of this machine, if you didn't want to have to open the top, there is a panel. You can turn the key, this entire back panel is removable and you could access the interior that way. This is where the game turns on. You get a cord that I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video. The cord plugs in right there. This requires a standard 110 volt outlet. It does not use anything special or fancy. And when you plug it in, there's an on-off switch. The circle down is off, the line down is on, uh, and then the game will take about 60 seconds to load up once it's been plugged in. Thank you very much.